In this presentation, I'm going to walk you through the steps necessary to install Metastock Professional for Quote Center. To get started, you should have received three different emails from Equus. All of them will have the address of noreply at equus.com. If you don't have those emails, make sure and check your junk email to see if they got filtered out or not. The first email we're looking for should have a subject line of your Equus web account registration information. The second email that you should have should have a subject of access your quote center account. And the third email should have a subject of order confirmation from Equus International. To get started, just open up a web browser and type in www.equus.com. In the upper right hand corner of this page, you should have a link called My Account. From here, you'll be brought to the Customer Service page. And the link that you're interested in is the second one down called My Downloads. Here's where you will enter in your username and password for your Equus Web account. To find that information, you'll need to go back to your emails and find the email with the subject of your Equus Web account registration information. Scroll down to the second paragraph and you should have a username and a password. With that information, enter it into those two boxes and click on login. From here you'll be brought to My Downloads and on this page you'll be able to access the Quote Center license agreement and also download the software. So to get started the first thing that you want to do is click on sign the agreement. From here you'll be brought to the Quote Center license agreement page. Make sure that you read through this and agree to all of its terms and conditions. And if you do, at the bottom of this page, click on I Agree. From here, you'll be brought to the My Downloads page. And under My Downloads, you should have three different links on this page. What I would recommend that you do is click on the third link down, which is actually the Bundle link. This will give you the Metasoc program along with the Quote Center software. When you do, it'll ask you if you want to actually run or save the file. I recommend that you click on Run this will begin installing it. When that's finished you'll receive a box that will come up and it will ask for the WinZip Self Extractor Setup. Click on that Setup button. Go ahead and click on OK. And now it will begin the Quote Center Setup. So go ahead and click on Next. If you're newer to the Metasoc program I highly recommend that you choose the defaults when they come up. So make sure that the typical button is selected and click on next. And then click on install. This will begin installing the software. When it's finished, just click on that finish button. This screen here is basically asking your permission to install the necessary components. So go ahead and click on next. And this is the Metastock license agreement. Again, make sure that you read through the entire thing and that you agree to all the terms and conditions and if you do click on I accept this agreement and then choose next. This page is asking for your user information. Here you'll want to fill out your name. If you have company information you can put it in the second line but it's not required you can just leave it blank and then fill out the setup key. So where do you get the setup key? Go back to your emails and find the email that has a subject of order confirmation from Equus International. Scroll down this email until you find a line called Setup Key. Notate that number and enter it into that box. Click on Next and you'll receive a confirmation asking if the information is all correct and if it is, click on Yes. Now it will ask you where the program is going to be installed. Again, if you're newer to the Metasoc program, I highly recommend that you just choose the default. So in this case, click on Next. Choose a standard install, click on Next, and now it's asking what file folder should the Metasoc program be installed in. In this case, it's going to install it under the Equus International folder, so go ahead and click on Next. This dialog is basically asking when do you actually want to start the real-time file server. Do you want to start it as soon as your computer is turned on, or do you want to manually launch it when you start Metastock? I would recommend that you choose the first option and click on Next. And if you actually want to have the Metasoc Professional and the Downloader icons installed onto your desktop, make sure both of these icons are selected and click on Next. 
Some of the manuals for the Metastock program are provided in a PDF file. And if you have an older version of the Adobe Acrobat Reader, it'll ask you to update it. And then when you're finished, you'll receive a window saying Setup Complete, click on the Finish button. If everything was installed correctly, you should have your icons now loaded on your desktop. To start the Metastock program for the first time, click on the Metastock Professional icon. The very first time that you run Metastock, you're going to have a window come up on your screen asking for a Metastock license. This is actually what they call their activation of the software. So to activate the software, click on Yes. The easiest and quickest way to install and activate your software is to choose the Internet Activate. Make sure that's highlighted and click on Next. Then you'll receive a license manager on your screen and this is asking for a license number. In most cases you'll have your number already filled in for you here but if you don't have it filled in go back to your emails from Equus and find the email of order confirmation from Equus International scroll down this email until you find a line called license number and notate that number right there and with that number you can enter it into that box and click on activate when that's done and it's done successfully you'll receive confirmation that it was done so go ahead and click on OK. So every time you load or run the Metastock program, it's going to ask you for your email and your password unless you have the Save as Auto Login selected. In this case, you'll want to enter in your email address and your password. To find out what your password is for the Metastock program, go back to your emails from Equus and find Access Your Quote Center account. And in this email, scroll down until you find the login and the password. Notate your password there, enter it into the password box and click on connect. Once everything is done and is done correctly, you'll then be able to run the Metastock program.